my name's John Cordy and today I'm wearing glasses because I've tapped out a thing that's written just there. Um, for a moment there it looked like I might never play Mr Brightside again but uh, there's light at the end of the tunnel I'm hoping and uh, coming to a wedding near you soon. <laughs> Um, you have no idea how many takes that took. Right, um, so today I was asked if I could go through one of the licks, sorry, this room's just been taken over by dogs. Um, one of the licks from uh, a video that I uploaded this week, um, it was the Carol Ann Tucana lead, clean and lead video, um, which was all improvised and as it happens, was first take, which doesn't always happen, but sometimes it does, which is nice. But in the middle of it, there's this big, long pentatonic lick which goes like this. Here's it a bit slower. Just wanted to talk you through it and maybe some kind of tips uh, on how I might play it if I was trying to play this thing again. It's got some of my kind of standard things that I use so, and things that I've practiced. It doesn't jump out of me as particularly odd, although it does start in a, a different place than when I normally would. So when I'm working out what a lick like this does, I'm normally listening to the placement of the one, or you know, like a snare drum or something like that, that I can use to orient, orientate place the beat anyway um, so you know I might be listening for a kick drum on the one or a snare on the two, four or three and listening to where the phrases start in relation to that so the first part of this lick starts kind of in the middle of sort of nowhere it sounds like so we've got these first six notes and then this part falls on a snare drum so that's how I knew that I was starting part way into beat three and then beat four. Um, so that's just a kind of a note on placement. But if you listen to the thing over and over and try and play it, I guess that will help you to kind of place it. Um, so at the very start of the lick, we've got this pretty normal thing, which I practice and which I've talked about practicing before. <laughs> I would suggest that doing that in all positions as an exercise is of benefit anyway. Um, it's really kind of taxing on the right hand and the left hand, but I think it's useful uh, with that what I was just playing there, there was kind of a triplet feel, but if you even it out and play it in fours or eights or sixteenths or thirty seconds, it works nicely too, which is what I'm doing for this lick. So I might pick this one sort of one line at a time, so or maybe one phrase at a time, sort of split up in smaller chunks. So you've got this rising part. That middle part in the there, you get this note outside of the pentatonic, te pentatonic scale, the E sharp, but I use that quite a lot to get a, a hexatonic scale, if you will, but it's basically just a major scale without the four. So you're avoiding playing a B if you're in F sharp. So the very first part. alternate pick um, so 
for that part and for all of the parts where I'm not alternate picking, I'm doing uh, basically economy picking where I'm picking in the direction of the string change. I've talked about that before, but that turns out to be what I do for some reason. So, um, I would practice it super slow to start with, break it down, and even if the whole lick itself is not particularly something that you'd want to play, there are little bits of it which might be useful, so... Um, so you could take like a small little passage of it, so that was the part of the third bar, the start of it. And you could take that and make your own little sort of exercise out of it. So that's the lick. Uh, I myself can't play it up to the speed that I originally did for some reason, I guess because it's improvised, but that's how I'd practice it. Take each small section and play those slowly until you can put them together um, and then work it up to speed with a metronome. Um, the tabs for this will be on Patreon if you want them um, and the backing track also um, if you wanted to support me in that way. There's also a buy me a coffee link but only use that if you can afford to and you really got something out of this. Um, but thank you for watching. Cheers.